What is going on everyone? So in today's video we're going to be covering a full detailed guide on everything you need to know about fishing and more specifically the Hunter's Cool faction. Just quickly though I have to give credit where credit is due. Most of this video was a collaboration between Meepers and myself. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So firstly, the Hunter's Call is a new faction that has been added into the game with a new anniversary update that has dropped. And this faction focuses on fishing and cooking. Also a bit of beast slaying as well, but primarily the main way to level up is fishing. Like every other faction in the game, your end goal will be to get to level 50. And also like every other faction, there is a reward you get every milestone you do hit. So with that being said, that is everything you need to know about the Hunter's Call. Let's just get straight into the fishing guide. So the first thing that you need to know is there are many different types of fish in the game. And because of that, there are many different ways you can get the fish. So there are 10 types of fish with all of them having five different variations. There is a nice variation between daytime and nighttime fish. If you do manage to get a nighttime fish, you'll notice it is very fluorescent and shiny. And if you get a daytime fish, you'll notice it looks like a regular fish. As well as that, the most common type of fish that you are going to come across when you do go out there is something that is known as a splash tail. Now, the reason that the splash tail is the most common fish is because it does not require any bait to get, and you can literally get them without having any sort of worm or grub on the end of your line. It is also important to note that if you do want to find some worms, grubs, leeches, or any type of fishing bait, you'll need to find them in barrels that are randomly scattered around the map. Usually you'll find a few pieces of bait in any outpost that you do spawn on. Following that, there is another type of fish that is known as pondies. Now pondies, their name pretty much states where they're found, but if you do want to know a very good location that you can find these little buggers, is Mermaid's Hideaway. The pond there is without a doubt the best spot that I have found that you can go to to grind this specific fish type. Following that, there is another type of fish that is known as the Ancient Scales. Now, personally, I believe these are the greatest looking fish, although there are many different types of fish that do look awesome, but these are one of my favorites. Now, these are very subjective to get hold of, so you have to know a few things if you are looking for them. First of all, you will need leeches to attract these guys. They will not come to you on anything else aside from leeches. And following that, given the name, they are found in Ancient Spire. As well as that, there is another specific fish type that you can only get in the wilds. So they are called the wild splashes. Now, they will only come to you on worms, so do be sure to stock up on some worms if you do want to find them. Now, there is also one final fish that is found in a specific location, and they are called the devil fish. As the name suggests, you can only find them in the devil's roar. And they also require grubs to get hold of them. That does wrap it up for all the fish that are only found in specific areas though. Now as well as that, there are also some very rare fish that you are looking for. They are called isle hoppers. Personally, I've only found one of them. And supposedly they are found around islands. But as I said, they are extremely rare to find. Also, they do not require bait to get them. So do take note of that if you are looking for them. Now, another type of rare fish that you can find, these aren't as rare though, they are known as battle gills. So to get a battle gill, you will have to be at a skull fort or in a battle with a ghost ship. If you don't know what ghost ships are, they are the skeleton galleons that you do see roaming around the oceans. The other event or surrounding based fish that you can find are known as stormfish. As the name suggests, you will need to be in a storm to catch them. Now, stormfish do require you to be in certain regions and you will also need earthworms to to maximize your chance of catching them. Now the final type of fish that you can find are known as wreckers. Now they require earthworms for you to get and they'll only be found near shipwrecks. Also it's an important side note but it is possible to occasionally catch hats and skulls not really important, but you know, I thought I'd mention it anyway. As well as that though, every single fish that I have mentioned do have a trophy version variant. Now trophy versions are a lot bigger and sell for a lot more. So if you do see a fish on your line and it looks a lot bigger than what you are used to, it is very likely that that is a trophy fish. So all of these fish can only be sold to the Hunter's Cool faction. And the location for all Hunter's Cool merchants is on any sea post that you do come across. Every single sea post in the game does host someone from the Hunter's Cool faction. What you'll need to do is sell to them so you can get the rep and the money. Also, it's very important to note that if you do cook the fish before you sell them, they will sell for a lot more. This goes for every single fish that I've mentioned. Now, you can get different type of fishing rod variations, but you'll need to complete challenges to get that. All the challenges are located in your reputations tab in the pause menu. It is also important to note that the commendations for rare fish only go up to 10 and the commendations for common fish go up to 50. Now, also the way you do fish is by casting a line so your fishing line is found in your items radial it is usually on the second tab or if you do want to you can equip it to a hotkey that is what I have done I have equipped it to a hotkey of H don't know why just thought I'd use H as my hotkey so the way you land these fish is very simple but is also quite complex at the same time when you do feel a bite you'll notice that the fish will take your bait and the line will start moving on its own 
What you'll need to do is counteract the fish's movements and when you do see it tire down, press right trigger if you are on the controller or left click if you're on the PC. Then you'll start winding in the fish. Just make sure when the fish does get up and start moving again, you're not winding in because it is possible to break your line if you do that. Now the way you'll know that you can wind the fish in is when you see tension on the line. It is very similar to real life fishing, so if you know how to fish in real life, you'll be a master at fishing in Sea of Thieves. So a written version of this guide will be down in the description below. The written version was made by Meepers, as I said. Big shout out to him for helping me get this video out. So if at any point you are confused, go down to the description and have a look at that. If you are in the description of this video, what I suggest you do is have a look at the group Discord that I have. There is over 3,000 members in there and is without a doubt, to my knowledge, the largest unofficial Sea of Thieves server in the world currently. Also, if you are down in the description and you want to check out what I get up to inside Sea of Thieves, feel free to go to my Twitter or my Instagram and contact me there. That being said, if you do want to see some more Sea of Thieves content, or you want to know how to do guides for every single Sea of Thieves event, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And also, if this video has helped you in any way, please show your support by putting a like on the video. That really helps out the channel. And if you do have any questions, please put them down in the comments, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Anyway, with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Listen.